Hi, Bo here. I'd like to show you how I make a tap menu with three tabs. So first I, I'll have to use my horizontal arrangement and I set this to width fill parent. So when I change orientation of the screen, uh, it will always uh, fill the whole uh, screen uh, area. You can see here if I changed um, screen orientation to landscape, uh, <coughs> the horizontal view also fills in um, in the whole width. But uh, I keep it in portrait. So uh, the thing I want to to make is a tab menu with uh, indication underneath uh, of which tab is selected. So I have um, actually uh, two uh, kind of um, layouts here. I have a horizontal layout and inside I will have three uh, vertical layouts vertical arrangements. So I put three vertical arrangements inside here and in each of these I uh, make a button and a label. And I set each of these to uh, fill parent in, uh, in width also. Then it will fill uh, equally in, uh, in the width. So I put uh, a button and a label in each. And actually I want another thing, I want a little spacer uh, between um, my three buttons. So I put inside here uh, a label and the label uh, you can use as a uh, spacer if you uh, if you hide or you delete the text so I delete the text and I set the background color to white and I set uh, my height to fill parent and the width to uh, one pixels and I do the same for the other And I will uh, rename it label spacer. And I will also rename my buttons so I can uh, find them in my blog editor. Button, button one, that's okay. So it's okay, they are called button 1, button 2 and button 3, it's okay. And label 1, label 2 and label 3. I keep that. And the uh, same thing here with uh, the labels, I'll use them as indication. So the first one is selected by uh, default, so I make this green and I hide the text or, or delete the text. and. Uh, the width I set to fill parent and the height I set to 8 pixels. And this one I make uh, grey. And the same with this one.
Okay, then this one I call uh, tap one. And I make it um, gray also. And I make the font uh, white. This one I make tab two. And I think I'll make the height uh, 40, so it all in on all in on will be 48 high. Okay, and I just make the background color gray here as well. So, and the fonts colors, six colors should be white. So, and uh, to to share my content on on page, I will make um, I'll make just a, a canvas. And I make it uh, the one, the first one I make uh, orange. And I call this uh, yeah, canvas one. And I put uh, another canvas underneath, I'll hide this. Canvas 2, it's bill, it's, it's above, it's okay. And I give this uh, green, no, give it uh, blue. And hide this and I'll make a third one and make this red. my first canvas to be visible first so when when we launch the first tab is selected and the content the yellow content is shown and if we click uh, tab 2 we should uh, show canvas 2 and this uh, indication here should uh, turn green and this one should uh, turn gray so we're ready to to walk into the blog editor so here I make um, when when button two is clicked do and uh, I'll set the um, I make a I could make a procedure 
so uh, no, I don't want that. I make the label one, set the label one back on color two. And I select the color. And I duplicate this twice. So label two should be green. I don't know the green here. <laughs> Take this one. And label three should be gray. So, and I can duplicate this uh, twice. Then I'll have um, this one spots in one. I change these two. And this one over here spots in three. I'll change these two here. So, and I also want to show here. I want to show uh, three the canvas one. And I want to hide the other th two if they are. So I I say true here. And I copy this control C, control V twice. So two and three false. And I copy these three here. Let's just use a block. Control C, Control V. And I change this to false, and this one to true, and this one over here to false, and this one to true. So let my, me test now. So when the emulator started, and the emulator has started now, and uh, I can see I have a little problem. There's a marking around my labels, but uh, the functionality is okay here. So when I click tab one, the green is uh, indicated here, and the, the yellow content is shown here, and tab two, the blue content is shown. And the green indication is uh, here, and as well as three here. But uh, I have to select in my designer. I select uh, these uh, labels, and I uncheck uh, has markings here. And I do this for all three. So, and I wait. It has to update. So oh, now it updated, and uh, you can see here. Now I have my tap menu as I like it. Thank you.